All right, so I'm going to be showing you how to open up and disassemble this Seagate Backup Plus Ultra Slim Metal Rescue Edition. Okay, so the customer said it fell on the ground while they were using it on the carpet, and then now it's having problems reading. So um, if they're lucky because this connection here is loose, maybe just the adapter is bad. Hopefully this has a replaceable one. So we're going to try and pop it open and see what we can find. All right, so... You can see I'm using this thin metal tool to get in there. And uh, my guess is this is held in with that adhesive, but we'll find out, okay? So you gotta get under there and then try and like pry this up slowly, okay? I don't wanna pull too hard because I don't wanna destroy this. Okay, I do see some clips, but it's holding really strong, okay. So you can actually see there's three spots where it looks like clips used to be. I don't know if you can see that actually. One, two, and three. We're gonna go work our way around the back. Okay, hopefully we'll be able to pop this out. But yeah, to get this out, you need a really thin tool. Okay, I do hear like adhesive as well, it sounds like. Um, but yeah, you can see, and then there it looks like there's two clips on this side. So probably another three on this side. Let's go starting at the center. So now we got those. Let's see, is this going to just pop out? Come on. Nope. Okay, so we're probably going to have to pry over here as well. Because it's not just popping out on its own. Okay, come on. Wow, you need like a really thin tool to get under this thing. So, I don't know. Make sure if you're using a metal tool that it's flexible. You don't want something brittle that's going to end up just shattering and breaking off. Okay, but yeah, okay, I think it's just the adhesive that's holding it at this point. So we're going to kind of wiggle it, carefully peel it, and there we go. Okay, so now we got this out, and it does look like it has a removable adapter, so we're going to kind of wiggle this and see if we can pop the drive out. Wow, the drive is really stuck in there. Let's see if we can get this tool in the side and then use that to kind of wedge it out. Okay, that looks like it's working. So we'll wedge that out. Let's wedge out the other side. Okay. All right, so now we got the back here. We can pull it and then usually you'll want to slide it out this way. Okay, there we go. All right, so now we have access to this piece here that we're going to carefully peel this off. Okay, be careful because this round cutout here is going to just make it tear the foil. So I'm going to try and work over this way and peel that and then go back here and there we go. Okay, I think we're going to end up having to tear it though because to peel this off we need to get all of this out. Either that or we have to peel the entire thing up. So. I guess let's go ahead and try and peel this side as well. Carefully. Peel this. Okay. Oh, it's going to tear. Yeah, it's tearing. Sadly. I'm pretty sure this foil, they designed it to be like, what if you try and mess with it, it's just going to tear. I don't know why they put all this. Maybe a little bit for heat dissipation but anyways there we go and then we'll slide the drive out of there and now we can kind of grab this and wiggle that out so there's that adapter i'm going to check with a usb to sata hard drive adapter and if it can read the data then the customer should be good to go um, but yeah other than that i've seen a lot of these fail so hopefully that's the case but uh i'm not 100 percent sure all right i'm gonna go check my customer brought their computer i'll be back Okay, so it turns out the drive itself is actually bad. So we're just going to reassemble it and then they're going to send it to data recovery. Um, I always recommend $300 data recovery because they're so much cheaper than everywhere else. So yeah, if you end up using them to get data recovered from your hard drive, um, 
please put me as like how you found out about them it does say like it has the option for it's been repaired all right and that'll help me out um, but yeah other than that we're just gonna wrap this back on here okay and then you just line this piece back up right make sure you put it the right way you can see which way the the USB 3.0 port um, it's closer to this side of the drive so you put that side face down okay just like that put that back in and then push that back down all right all right also um, if you send it to the data recovery place they'll ask if you open the drive taking this apart doesn't um, isn't considered opening the drive it's if you take this metal plate off and you have access to the little discs inside you don't want to mess around with that because if you dirty that you're gonna make your chances of data recovery a lot worse so anyways we'll just get this back on there like that okay line everything up and click it all back down okay it's a little bit tricky is did it slide all the way Okay, it's a little bit tricky getting this side back on because now it's not quite lined up so I gotta help pull it back there we go get in there and I gotta lift this side back up okay there we go and there we go we got this thing reassembled and that's pretty much it Again, hopefully this video helped you guys out. If it did, like, comment, subscribe, share my channel with others so that they can learn how to upgrade and repair their device as well. And if it helped you save a bunch of money, please consider contributing a little to the channel. Every little bit helps and allows me to continue making these videos for a living. If you can't help out that way, it would help a lot if you could watch a few of my other videos and then like and comment on those as well because that's what the algorithm likes to see. On that, I do have another channel called It's Been Reviewed and More. It would help a lot if you could subscribe to that channel as well. I need to get that one to a thousand, and it's taking quite a while. But uh, yeah, um, this video hopefully will help you. Um, a lot of people end up breaking this connector off, and if that's the case, you can again use one of these like SATA to USB adapters, or you can buy another replacement enclosure. Most enclosures are going to be bigger than this, so it's not going to be like this slim but it should be able to hold the drive and work well. All right, again, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Oh, I did notice another thing. This drive looks like it's bent like like bent like this. But uh yeah, that's pretty much it. Again, thanks for watching and yeah, I'll see you all in the next one. All right, hopefully your drive works unlike this one. If you hear your drive clicking, like making repetitive clicks, then for sure your drive is dead. All right. Anyways, that's it. Let's drop this. Bye.